Good day, my name is Teacher K. Are you ready to learn something new? Today I will be teaching you something and it's going to be an important lesson. So I want you to give me your ears and listen and let's try to focus in our class today. Okay? Here, today we will be talking about reading between the lines. Now, this sentence or this phrase is very popular. What do you think reading between the lines means? Okay, that's a good sentence. Let me write it down. It means reading with understanding. That's a good sentence. Well, later on, as we finish this topic, we will learn what reading between the lines really means. So if you're ready, ready, let's go on and read right here. Read with me. Rosa Maria Garces, 12, also a student at IS303, says thinking critically about the news has never been more important. She has seen several fake stories posted on social media. I think kids my age should notice more and read between the lines, she says. Breaking news stories offer a challenge. In 2004, just after Super Storm Sandy hit the East Coast, a dramatic photo appeared on Twitter. Many people believed it was real, but it was a fake that combined a news station logo with a scene from a movie. Angel Gonzalez teaches new literacy at the La Salle Academy in New York City. He pushes his students to consider where their um, news came from. We think about what is good for the body to eat. And the same applies to information, he says. We're only as information we consume in terms of our ability to know about the world. So, so after reading that, what do you think reading between the lines means? Very good. Okay, let me write your sentence. It means reading and understanding things that you read okay very good that's a very good sentence now reading between the lines means not just understanding and believing what you read it also means that you need to try to judge or observe if what you're reading is really real or it's really real or it's fake the word fake means not true not original so something fake is fabricated or it's not real okay okay now it says here that a lot of news on social media is fake or fabricated now i want to ask you do you believe everything that you hear or you read online Okay, very good. Now, let's talk about social media. There are different kinds or different ways or different um, types of social media. Examples are Twitter, Facebook, we have um, Instagram. Even the pictures that we see online, we're not sure if they're true or not. So you should be very intelligent about what you read. Okay, look at these lines here. I want you to focus here, okay? Here, we think about what is good for the body to eat and the same applies to information. Remember, if we want to be healthy, we eat healthy foods. So if it's the same with information, that simply means if you want to be intelligent, if you want to learn more, 
you should select the things that you're reading. You should only read the things that are true, reliable, and educational. Okay. Well, since there's a lot of social medias and the internet is very wide, you need to be careful on what you read before you believe them. Don't believe all the news that you hear. Okay? All right. Well, let me correct your sentence. You should say it like this. I should be careful. There. I should be careful. Okay. Now, after reading this, I want you to look at this picture. Now, this looks like the Statue of Liberty facing a storm. It even says here that it's live camera taken on 12.12 12 p.m. Hmm. Can you read this for me? Looks real, is it? After a storm hits the New York area, this photo is posted online. It shows a scene from a popular movie, not a news photo. See? It's fabricated or it was fake. So, because of the technology that we have, we can easily make fake pictures by editing them. Or what is commonly known as Photoshop. So, before you believe anything on the news, make sure that you try to observe first and you try to search if the news is real or it's fake. Now, before we end the class, I want you to read the power words that we have. First, advocate. To support or argue for a cause or policy. So, if you advocate, that means you're like a person who represents something or supports something. Okay? So there are different kinds of advocate. Mm, some people have advocate for health. Some people have advocate for education. So there's different kinds. Now, the second word is standard. A level of quality that is considered acceptable or desirable. So if you have a standard, that means it's your goal. It's something that you want to reach. Okay? So our goal for today is complete because we learned something new. So try not to forget it. Until next time. Bye!